Rodney come on. And it's going to be talking a little bit about some kind of a health situations that you can help yourself with. Rodney, are you there? Hey, Reverend Rick, I hear you. I'm right here. Hey, all right. Hey, Rodney, talk to us a little bit about the program that you're working on that we're going to be uh, showcasing a little bit here on Let's Stay Together show. I just want to thank you all so much for allowing me to be on the show today and uh, very viable information for the people out there. Um, yes, we're working on a program that's called Fit for the King. And what it is is uh, Reverend Jordan um, I'm from Salem. He is a certified health coach now and a uh, health coach, and he's taking things from a, a, a biblical standpoint as far as nutrition. And me being a fitness professional, he and I came together with a passion to help the men of the church. So many churches have uh, health fairs and health things for the congregation. However, only the women are really taking part of doing things like exercising and regular program. The men are really slacking and really suffering because of that diabetes high blood pressure is at a high it is it's just going rampant in the black community and so we just have a heart and a passion for helping the men so we're going to be going out to churches any church nonprofit organization men's group that i have us to come out and speak as well as i have a special fitness program i designed to teach individuals how to use their own body like they're lifting weights and the reason, and the reason why we're bringing this out into the show right now, because we're talking about home care versus assisted living. We're trying to do a prevent here, so you'll be able to take care of yourself before you get to this situation. Hey, Rodney, give them that information about who you are and how they can contact you. I'll have it on my web page, but I want them to hear it from you. Okay. Uh, yes, again, it's Fit for a King. Uh, my name is Rodney Pate. They can reach me at 773-340-3303. Uh, my email is RodneyPate360 at gmail.com. They can reach me either way. Um, this is my Google Voice number, so if you, even if you can't reach me, you give a, leave a message, and it'll come straight to my, my cell phone, and I'll be able to respond as soon as possible, 773-340-3303. All right, thank you, brother. We're going to have Rodney on here each, uh, each uh, uh, Tuesday talking about this subject so you can get more information and he'll also be on our facebook page thank you for giving us a call okay hey thank you for having me on i'll see you next tuesday all right brother hey i want to go back real quick uh hey do we have anybody else on the line right now okay great i want to go back because i want to i I mean i I, I, we want to get this in because this is definitely going to be uh part two again if you're listening to this radio show and you want more of let's stay together Call this station and say, I need more Let's Stay Together radio. Hey, I need to go back to something because I want to deal with some of the fear. Because people are people don't, not only the fear of having someone there, the fear of actually making the decision. How do you help that person with making the right decision on where they should, you know, uh, have their loved ones. And I'm going to give you an example. My mom was in a nursing facility, and I'm not going to mention the name, but when I walked into it, as soon as I walked in the, into the door, you could smell urine. Right. And so yeah. that disturbed me as I'm walking in here. I'm walking right into the door, and as soon as you turn, you so you're thinking, it's like, are they really taking care of these people? And then when you see the people in there, they look so morbid, they look so sad, and uh, whoo. Before I get a little bit too emotional, when I saw my mother the last time and I saw the look on her face when she looked at me, she wanted to get out so bad because it just seemed like no one was taking care of her. So address this for the people. How do I make the right decision for this person where I can live with it? Not necessarily only they can live it, but I can live with it. I'm going to ask the doctor to help us out with that. Dr. Wims, help us out with that. Uh, tell me about that. Sure. It, it, it depends on your relationship with that parent. Unfortunately, I've seen as a physician, um, you kind of there, there are people who just kind of want to just put their loved one off on someone else so that they don't have to worry about it. Oh, they'll get, you know, their three meals a day. Nah, maybe they'll get changed. Eh, but that that's their feeling. Um, but if you're the type of person like I am, I said, as long as I breathe, my mother will never see a nursing home. Um, I have, she was in a nursing home for, <laughs> so she had broken her hip and they sent her to, uh, sent her to a rehab center. Uh, nursing we, home. Yes. yes. <laughs> AKA nursing home. Yeah. And literally, 
we got there, and I turned right back around. I said, take the ambulance. We're, we're out of here. You know, she's going to get her physical therapy at home. People don't know that they actually have those options yep. to Absolutely. get those rehabilitative yeah. services in their home, um, whether it's occupational therapy, physical therapy, um, speech therapy. Mm-hmm. Any of those therapies can be given in your home, and Medicare pays for them. You know, yes. it, it, you have to educate yourself about what your benefits are. And I feel the more you know, the better decisions you make on which facility is best for your, your loved ones. So, Dr. Williams, <laughs> you're saying that they have to be proactive as the children of the aging parents. Yes. And because if they're not volunteering that information, is it just, you said, was it aging parents, a website they could go to? Department, Department, of, Department of Aging. Department of Aging. Mm-hmm. Does that cover a lot of resources, or you have to really just seek and seek on Google or whatever to find it out? Absolutely. Keep seeking. And, and visits. To play devil's advocate, I worked in a nursing home, so... When I say I know what happens behind closed doors, I do know what happens, the good and the bad. And when you ask the question, is my loved one being taken care of? Yes and no. Yes, because they are getting the three meals. They are getting their medications monitored. They are being changed, you know, being given personal care. But essentially, you do have one person taking care of eight to nine people yes, for yes. eight hour oh, shift. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's um, impossible. And it's impossible. And when I would have families come in, I would tell them this. I said, we, I will try and I will make sure that your loved one is taken care of the best way I can. But know that they are not going to be taken care of the way you, you would take, take care of them at home. At home. At home. At home. This is a facility and the staff is doing the best they can. And I'm glad you said that because you're not going to hear that in most places. No. Because, oh, you know, it's it's they're, they're trying to make sure that they receive the money to have those people there. But you need to, as they say, do self-examination to make sure. And I'm glad you brought that up, that they have the option. Because I think a lot of people don't know mm-hmm. you have that option. You can pull them out. You can yes. do those yes. things. Yes. But once you put them in there, people think, okay, they're here. Right. No. Again, these people work for you. You Absolutely. have the last say so because the doctors say, I want them to go here to get re- rehabilitation. You, no, anything that they do in that facility can be done in your home. Right, right. Okay, remember that red, white, and blue card is nothing but a cash station card, it's a debit. Mm-hmm. And also, guys, okay. remember this nursing home cost is 40% higher than any other. Uh, way of taking care of your absolutely family. so home yeah. health home health home health care cost is 40 percent lower than nursing home costs it yeah. seemed like it would be reversed to me because you're getting that personal care Mm-mm. and it's, to me it's like the day. um the nursing homes those facilities like a meat market like i was saying earlier mm-hmm. that's just a job for some of those young people I've seen up in there. It's just a job for them. It's not even their career. They're just doing it to get their paycheck. They're not caring about feeding them three times a day or walking them, assisting them with anything. It's like, I'm here. I mean, the last time I was in one, I seen some doing some things they shouldn't be doing and the parents and they're still waiting. It's like, it's so depressing. But that, that's the, I'm sorry, Brenda. That's the difference, too, where my mother is there almost every single day. Mm-hmm. She makes them Man, she visits everyone yeah. there. They yeah, know my, her. My they respect that. her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that makes the difference. And they'll tell you that if it's a good place, that it makes a difference if you are there. And it helps yes. when mama brings them brownies. So oh, yes. it makes a difference when you establish you gotta make a relationship. Friends. And, and, let's, and let's say this because you, we've got to yes. we've got to say this. It is a lot of stress on the people that are working yes. there. And they oh, absolutely. don't get paid enough money to right. do this yeah. job. And so we don't want to come off that we're just, you know, saying something negative against them because it is a lot of stress taking care of the people. And I do, I will speak on my behalf is that I think the government needs to do more about making sure we have the right people in there, paying them the right amount of money so they can provide the uh, the care that they need because it's very demanding. And, you know, when I'm only getting like, you know, a dollar twenty five and I'm being facetious, it's very difficult uh, to be able to uh, take care of someone when I get six or seven people to take care of. But real quick, because we got five minutes left, I want to talk about this. I want you all to give me a brief way that you can educate people who are about to put their family members there. Give them an education on what they should look for. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Um, if you're looking at a facility, know that every year they get an annual survey. So when you go in for a tour, 
ask to see their survey book. See what kind of complaints they're getting written up on. Mm. Ask all the questions. Mm. Because essentially when your family member goes in there, you are their advocate. You, If you see something, say something right away. Don't wait to their care plan meeting. Establish a rapport directly with the staff that's taking care of them. But when you see something, say something. Ms. Rena, I say, to piggyback off what you're saying, the CNAs that work there, and I'm, I kudos to them because they work so hard. And there's some that really, really care. And those will be the ones that greet you at the front door, almost saying, please don't. Them the ones you want to talk to. Exactly. They're the ones that will tell you, <laughs> them, exactly, they'll what tell you exactly what's going on in that facility. Mm-hmm. All right. I would say also do a pre-visit before you yeah. take your loved one to a nursing home. Make sure that it's clean. Make sure it's up to your standards. Make sure you mm-hmm. do some interviewing with the people that work there before mm-hmm. you make that final decision. Yes. And doctor, Absolutely. close us out. Bottom line, I think you need to find a facility or a home health agency that's going to treat your loved one the way you want to be treated. And I will tell you what, we're going to to make sure uh, we do a part two. Baby, you got something you want to add on to this? Go ahead. Just a quick last Go announcement. Ahead. As always, we get a shout out to Pastor James T. Meeks yeah. and Yay. First Lady Jamel of the, of the Southern Baptist Church Great. of Chicago and designs by Sandra Ballinger.com. Please click on her link and like her on Facebook as I know you will like us on Facebook. Next week's show is about aborted but not forgotten, how to live with your decision. That's going to be an wow. interesting conversation. We got hot topics coming in. I got to give it out to my girl, Daryl King and the Bling Bling. She comes on every day from 6 a.m. to 10. That's my girl. You gotta listen to Daryl. Hey, I thank you all for being here today. Hey, we. I want you all to Facebook us and say, I've got to have part two of this. We've got so much more that we need to talk about and that we haven't got an opportunity to talk about. I'd love to thank our guests. Baby, we got two minutes. Go around house giving our guests again. I'm going to just go. First name's Kiara. It was on the McCain train, Rena. And Ted Williams was on the train. Ooh, train, McCain, McCain train. train. And Shanika Williams was on the McCain train. No relations to the other Williams. All of them was there with <laughs> Hey, uh, Rena, Love I want y'all. you one more time to give your place so we can have it there. RS Independent Home Health Care. Um, our office is in Jolly Edge. And please call us at 815-729-3104. And Dr. Williams, where are you located? I am located. It's Divine. Aesthetics Med Spa and Wellness Center located at 4753 North Broadway. If you're looking for a uh, home physician to take care of your loved one, I come once a month to see your, your loved one and you know make sure everything is okay. You can uh, reach us at 866-834-8463. And all of that information will be on our Facebook page. Hey, I thank you very much. Hey, Hazel, you got that last song we got out there? Hey, we're going to end it for the day. Listen to us again. The Let's Stay Together show, 730 Tuesday. Love you. See you Tuesday. Father, open our eyes that we have been listening to Reverend Rick McCain and author Brenda McCain. If you would like to be a sponsor of this show, please contact them at Let's Stay Together at Comcast.net or send your monetary donations and financial gifts to the Let's Stay Together show. Post Office Box 902 South Holland, Illinois 60473. That's P.O. Box 902 South Holland, Illinois 60473. Be blessed.
Attention, Rejoice 1023 Rockford and DeKalb listeners. In order to win a WICA contest, you must comply with our rules and regulations. You must have a valid social security number and two forms of ID.